In the last couple of videos, we exclusively talked about labor demand. And in the labor demand, when it comes to the labor cost for the employer, we had two main assumptions. The first assumption was that the wage rate is given by the market for the employers. It means the employers cannot pay less wage than the wage level that given by the market. Why? Because if the employer try to pay less wages than the wages given by the market, the workers will leave this employers and move to other employers, to other firms and to other companies. So that's why the companies or employers will not or cannot pay less wages than the, than the market wage rate. And also, employers would not pay more wages. Why? Because if the employer pay more wage level than the wage level given by the market or the market wage rate, so then this employer cannot compete in the product market. Why cannot compete in the product market? Because when this company pay more wage, so it means the, the product cost or the output cost will increase than the other employers which they produce similar product in the market. So that's why it would not pay more wages because of the competition in the market. And also on other things, the next assumptions that we talked about that is the labor cost is variable. The labor cost is changing. So one of the factors that a company or employers can change its cost level or cost proportion or cost combination is by changing the labor cost. Because we think about the labor cost based on hourly wage rate that the company provide for its employees. And hourly wage rate will be paid based on the hours of work by the employees for the employers. If the company of every employer want to adjust overall cost, because in the short run, mostly employers cannot change their capital cost because we assume that the capital is fixed in the short run. So one of the factors that employer can change its cost structure is by changing the hours of work. So when the company or employer want to adjust the cost, what they do or what the company do adjust hours of work to adjust the cost. But the question is that if both workers and employer see costly, if the condition of the labor demand changes in the market to change their behavior. If changing behavior while the condition the labor demand changes is costly for the employers and employees. What they do, for example, we assume that the company cannot pay this wage because the worker leave. In reality, actually, do workers leave? Because we assume that changing one employer to other employer, moving from another, one employer to another employer is costless. But in reality, is it costless? Because if we say it's costless, but most of the time is in, in reality it's not. Because moving from one employer to another employer needs job search and job searches is costly. You have to make your application, print your CV, uh, like take a photo for yourself, for your CV, for your application, and also transportation costs for interview, 
interview cost itself, and many other factors that can make it costly for the workers to leave the current employer, although they pay least wage than the labor market. And also for the employer, if they do not pay more than their competitor, though they're able to hire like more efficient and productive labor from the labor market, because this company or this employer should compete with other employers in the market to hire the most productive, efficient, and effective workers. So if they pay similar wage, are they able to hire the most efficient and productive workers? And also, is it easy to change or to adjust the hours of work in order to adjust the cost? So this concept brought a new term in the labor market, which we can call friction in the labor market. It means due to the some factors, it's difficult for employers and also employees or workers to change their behavior. That's why we call it friction in the labor market. It's just an introduction about friction in the labor market. In the next videos, we will talk about the friction from the employee side and the friction from the employer side in details. When, for example, when workers find costly to change their behavior, what will happen, what will do, and what, how they behave, and also when employers find costly to change their behavior, what they will do. We will talk in detail in the next videos. For this video, just for introduction about the friction in the labor market, this is it. I hope to enjoy this video. And please consider subscribing my YouTube channel and share it with your fellow uh, and colleagues and those students that they need to have some lesson related to labor economics. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Good luck.